Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my garage. Have I ever done a video, like started a video here? I don't think so, but I'm standing in front of my newly built, I didn't build it, Brian built it, this garage organizer using these Costco, <laughs> these Costco totes. So this is a direct smaller version of something I saw on TikTok. I will put the video here. I will list or I will link the page where we found it down below. They built a larger scale version of this using 27 gallon totes from Costco. I spotted it and I thought that is perfect. I think we need extra garage organization for all of our Christmas decor, fall decor, just extra things that we didn't really have anywhere to put. We do have an attic, um, but it's hard to get into. It's not very big up there. And when I saw this on TikTok, I thought, that is absolutely perfect for what we need. Now, again, theirs is a larger version. They listed the measurements of all the different wood that they cut. So we, we, as in Brian, sort of scaled it down for 12 totes. Now I get a lot of questions because I posted some of this on Instagram about cost. I bought 12 totes from Costco, 27 gallon, $8.99. And then Brian bought all of the wood from Home Depot. He bought 22, I'll put a little picture here of what it is, and then he just cut them accordingly. So it worked out pretty well. I think we had an extra two pieces of wood that we ended up using because he cut something a little bit too short. Um, so I filmed this, it was meant to be sort of like ASMR kind of thing. So there's minimal talking. I was going to include it in my weekly vlog, but I felt like it was a better standalone because I've gotten a lot of questions since I bought the totes and I know that a lot of people will want to see exactly how we did it. So I will list down below, I'll get Brian to write down exactly what he bought, what he did, what the measurements were, and that should be it. But again, keep in mind that is for three across and four down. So 12 totes total. Again, where I got this from they built something much larger so if you want to build it much larger then just obviously go for their scale and their measurements and stuff but i hope that you enjoy this i think it's going to be really nice once i can get actual labels and stuff like that for the totes he said he's going to put a piece of plywood across the top too because we have some extra boxes of decorations that would just be nice and easy to store up there so i hope that you enjoy this any questions you have drop them down below and i'll see you at the end good morning y'all happy sunday the garage organization so brian's building that today he went friday i think we went and he bought all the wood that he needed from home depot so we're ready to go in that department yesterday i took all the christmas stuff down in the house and reorganized the totes outside we have nine nine pretty much full this one is not full all the way but the rest of our fall decor is up in the see that one's barely full but most of the fall decor or the rest of it i guess is up in the attic so we can open that up and get it out if we choose to do that which we need to yeah we probably should because oh i need to ask him about building this right here because if it comes down comes out to like here that opens up oh the light's on oh okay no 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 Oh, I need to turn the light off. Okay, well, plenty of, oh gosh. Oh, okay, let me turn this light off. I did have somebody ask how you were, we were gonna access the garage switch. These won't come flush with the wall, so we'll have enough space to stick your hand in there. Your wall o totes. This one, however, we might need to just refrain from putting, these are just empty totes right here refrain from putting a like fourth tote here because that's the light switch for the attic. And then if we walk around the corner, here's all the wood. There's 22 of them. He's cutting, like bought all these the same size to cut versus two by twos, I think he said. I'm not really sure, but he bought all of these versus the different sizes and we'll just cut them to the size needed. Looking good. It's looking good. You're doing a great job. <laughs> the heater feels good though. Is that the Christmas buddy? Little buddy? That's nice. 
It's so nice. Here, let me help you. Three rows, and then he's just going to cut the ends off. He says we can do four high. He measured the attic. I'm just being a good helper, you know? Just doing what I can in my slippers, you know, in my PJs. stick because I gotta cut the tops of those off. This is gonna be the first wall and then everything else will be a lot easier once I get everything measured out right. So this is like the back wall. It doesn't matter. Oh okay. Front okay. wall, back wall, they're both the same. Well yeah. I just didn't know what you were doing in your head. Like in how you were head. doing. So right here, all I'm doing is I'm going to all right, because the one that they have, the one that they, they built online was a lot bigger than this. Mm -hmm. So I got to adjust all those measurements a little bit to make it smaller, but I don't know what those measurements are because you have to give like distance between, you know, this one, this one, this one. So just making it a little. Oh, I little see. Bit. Cause they just did. Here's how we made ours. Yeah. Gotcha. So, but theirs is a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So therefore I got to adjust a little tiny bit. Right. Oh my gosh. You're really good at this. <laughs> It fits perfect. So it gave dimensions of like 14, like 14.25 tall, mm -hmm. and then 14.25 from the bottom to where you want the little the extra bits. Okay, so let's see which it's 13, it's about 13 and a half from the very bottom to the lip, it's actually 13 and a quarter, so it gives one inch of space, okay? So, which is good. I mean, it gives so it will actually room. slide. So it'll actually slide, and won't be any like, you know, tightness right. in there, easy. They actually also said 20.2, 20, 20 and a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. From inside to inside. I went 21, I like a little, and you can see 21 was, is, you know, a little bit of play. I like a little bit more, because it's out in the garage, Alabama, we have heat and contraction and you know, all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. So expansion and contraction. So I want a little bit more space. Cool, cool. So, all right. So between from bottom to each one, inside to inside, or space to space, I'm going to do it what they said, 14 and a half. <laughs> Is it real heavy? Do you need my help? No. Oh, it's like a maze. Oh. What'd you say? Measure twice, cut once? Measure twice, cut once. These two have lines. All right, good to go. We're in the home stretch. Do you feel like that? Kind of sore, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's coming along. Mm -hmm. He said he is gonna bolt it to the wall yeah. so that we just don't have any issues. How yeah. tall is this thing total? 68 and a half. 68 and a half. Five, eight and a half.
Well, you just have to hop up a step. You'll be fine. Yeah. He bolted it to the wall. We didn't really go in there anyways. Can you go up in the attic? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have that storage. Let's try to put the heaviest ones. On the bottom. Not going to rearrange them. Cool, right? Brian's so good at building things. He's built us a really cool coffee table. We have a coffee nook. What else do we have? He built himself like a Murphy style desk in one of the rooms in there that he uses as like a hunting room. So many cool things that he has built. Um, but I feel like this could be, I'm not going to say easy because I don't build things, but it's straight cuts. So I feel like maybe if you don't have a lot of experience, you might could still tackle this and achieve it pretty easily fingers crossed. Um, as far as my car being parked in the garage, I have no issues. It's really easy. This is actually a two car garage, but it's really meant for two very small cars. So only my car fits in it. Brian's truck is too long, but it's not the organization thing he built is not too far out where my car feels tight or I can't open the door or anything like that. We probably would have built it bigger had we had more space. Again, I knew that a lot of people would ask. I had so many people saying, when you build it, let me know, let me see. And I did share some like little sneak peeks the day we built it on Instagram and had a lot of questions. By the way, it took him, I wanna say three hours, start to finish three hours, not including me organizing the totes. That was a whole nother project for another day that my mom and I did. But as far as just building this to stick the totes in about three hours, which I feel like is a pretty short amount of time to build something that is gonna help us. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.